Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Sultai Reanimator. This is a donation deck. That's what the DD here is. Uh, to try to get Dracuseth into play and attacking with it as early and as often as possible. I think we played against this deck or something very similar to this uh, yesterday whenever we were streaming. It looked pretty cool. Um, and then we got a donation to try it out ourselves. So what we're doing here is we are filling our graveyard, uh, trying to put Dracuseth in there because we have no way of casting this legendary dragon. Uh, we have our charter courses as Kanta and Thought Erasure could s surveil them over. Uh, but our charter courses and our Tombbound Lich both uh, draw cards and then discard in case it's in our hand. We have Tamio. This is going to be a real key to the deck. Uh, ticking up and basically always naming Bond Revival, like uh, digging quickly for Bond Revival to put into our hand while also filling our graveyard uh, by self milling to be able to put Draki sets over there. And plus, we have the Enter the God Eternals that can, uh, we'll, we'll target ourselves, of course, and self mill ourselves. So, like, that's that's our goal. Keep Put a bunch of cards in our graveyard, uh, get Draki Seth in there, and then Bond Revival it back into play. We also have two other spicy ones to reanimate with a Vilas broken blood, uh, broker of blood, and the agent of treachery. Both of those could do some pretty cool things for us. Um, sideboard wise, uh, we have some duresses um, to be able to help protect our hands to go along with the thought erasures and a whole bunch of Vela vale summers. A lot of counter spells running around these days. And instead of just playing like negates, which you could have in this deck, I feel like Vela Summer is a better option for us whenever we're going to be mostly trying to counter other people's counter spells. Because not only does it only cost one mana, but then it also uh, draws a card too, so it replaces itself. Uh, so I feel like Vela Summer could be a really, really strong um, part of this deck to being in a, a proactive card for people that are trying to counter our stuff. Uh, we got some Legion's Ends, which are very good against all the mana creature decks, very good against Wild Growth Walkers, Hydro Crasises, all that kind of stuff. Another Cry of the Carnarium. For aggro, uh, Risen Reef, mana creatures, that kind of stuff. I have two Unmoored Ego in the sideboard. Um, we got two of those over here. Got those because of, like, Nexus. Uh, Nexus is... is picking up in popularity these days and our deck is not going to really be beating nexus uh most of the time and so just having on more ego and just taking getting you know exiling all their stuff i feel like that's pretty important for us um and on ego works really well with tamio also where you can like name wilderness reclamation then you pick it back up then you name nexus then you name whatever you know you can keep on doing that over and over and then some other creatures to give us uh, something a little different from the board also. All right, let's get to it. Hmm. Let's go to the traditional constructed queue with this being a donation deck. That's where we always head on over, spend our thousand gold. And let's see how we do. All right. Ugh. Getting nice, good stretching. Ugh. Here we go. Play first. We're so lucky. No, no rotting registrar. I don't. I don't like rotting registrar in a deck like this. I mean, it, well, well, it wasn't in the donation deck, which I'm glad for. But just a card that's specifically designed for you to like discard, because it's not like you attacking with rotting registrar is like going to be winning when it's kind of just the rotting registrar. And there's going to be a lot of other times where, basically, most all the time. Because, uh, you know, you only have the four Dracu sets, so most of the, most all the time with the Rotting Register, you're just going to have to be discarding other cards that you don't want to discard. 
Riding Registaur makes it harder for you to hit land drops and keep on to revival and all that and do all your other stuff. Um, so yeah, don't have any of those. Now I guess we're just getting rid of JR, I suppose. A lot of tap lands over there. Teferi does get to bounce track you, Seth. Which could be annoying. Attacking with Tomb Bound Lich is pretty awesome here, though. Are they just going to cast down it? Yeah, I, I would not be surprised they cast down it. Yep, there we go. Because, yeah, if they just play the Wild Growth Walker, they can't really block, and then I get to draw a discard again. Yeah, Thought Erasures are just awesome. Alright, get rid of that Teferi that can bounce the Dracuseth. So it deals four damage to any targets. So we'll do four damage to the Wild Growth Walker, and then target up to two others. Then we'll do three and three. Oh, that card is awesome. Voracious Hydra. What are you doing with that thing? They want to keep Voracious Hydra. So do I want to just mill them? So we do four to them, and then three and three. And see, so, you know, we'll we'll kill their wild growth. But what does this voracious hydra even do? It's a three. It does nothing. Let them keep that. All right, Legion's End, perfect against Wild Growth Walker. Good deck building. Uh, let's see, Veil of Summers. Probably going to be decent here. The big, the big worry with Veil of Summer is if they have Little Teferi in play, of course. Yeah, Jackie said it's sweet. Um. Hustle Shaker also great against Wild Growth Walkers. So is Ritual of Soot. So we're gonna get rid of Cry, I suppose. Do I want to like Unmoored Ego, Command the Dread Horde? Because like if they if they command the Dread Horde, my Dracu Seth, that's gonna be really annoying. It'll be quite annoying. You're welcome, Super Silver. Oh, you using the Bant Ramp deck? Hey, good job. Way to go. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, no, Yurok does not do anything with Jackie Seth. No. Yurok only affects ETB triggers, and that's an that's an attack trigger. Yurok would would let you steal two things with Agent of Treachery.
Do I want to play Unmoored Ego? And if so, what am I taking out for it? Oh yeah, my last hand was awesome, for sure. I got one cast down. I feel like Command the Dread Horde is going to be the biggest thing that we have to worry about. I'm not going to play those on where he goes. Just, just the one. If we draw it, we get to take command. If we don't, it's fine. But yeah, that was like, that was honestly like our best possible hand that we had last time because we had, you know, Thought Erasure and then our discard spell and then, I don't know, whatever we did on turn four. Gosh. Just all, all spells. That's cast down or to fairy. that to exile two legendary cards in the graveyard in order to play other things not just not just any two cards the pen is mightier than the crown All right, well, Tombbound Lich is helping us fix our fix our hand here. Cool animation. First time I saw that card played. So jealous. Wish we could find a Tamiyo. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, there's Command the Dreadhorde. should be discarded. Um, what do I do with Gruul against Command the Dread Horde? I mean, obviously we're playing against Command the Dread, Command the Dread Horde right now, like but I haven't seen toy. Command the Dread Horde hardly at all. I, I would probably just bring in, like, the Coils, and uh, I would bring in the Coils and cut the Growth Chamber Guardians and bring in something else, like maybe one Veil of Summer, or one Daredevil, one of either of those two cards. Waste not, want not. I've learned much from all finding you. They were a lousy servant. Dead. Waste not, want not. <laughs> Rise and shine. I guess I should just be cutting Ritual of Sin in this matchup, also. I guess, I guess this is just not where we want the game to get to. And it's too much life. Play one. All right, getting rid of the Tomb Bound Liches. As we saw there, they had multiple cast downs in their deck. I have just one card that you can cast down, so I'm just getting rid of it. So that we can't get cast downed. Black Kitty. We are lucky Black Cat. That's certainly not ideal for us, them having Paradise Druid right away. <sighs> Two Golgari Queens? Well, so, so much for my Ascanta. So much for Ascanta. I'm good at what I do. Back to the shadows. 
for now. Huh. So playing Charter Course here gives it gives me a better chance of actually Bond to Revivaling next turn. Because, you know, we'd have better, you know, we'd have a very good chance of drawing the land. The Kefnet, getting the Kefnet in play is better if they end up having, like, a discard spell here to take the Bond to Revival. Being ruthless has its rewards. I can't believe they're sacrificing their Black Land. Considering, you know, Command the Dreadhorde and everything. really need to discard the Vilas. Eh, I guess Drakiseth would have been good to discard. So yeah, of course, if I go chart, of course, main phase. Uh, sure. If they have counter magic there, like we don't we don't have to bond a revival right now. We have Kefnet, like we're ahead. Might as well see what they got going on over there. Hmm. Alright, so they had a cast down. What other kind of interaction they got going on over here? They have a wanderer, two wanderers. Like, what's like their next best card? Like, what stops me? Like Teferi, Time Raveler, bouncing my Dracu Seth, I guess. Wanderer exiles. Liliana minus. They have four Teferis and three total other Wanderers and other things. So let's go with Teferi. Just a couple lands. Slinky. <laughs> All right, so now we know they don't have any counter magic or anything. And we are all set to go. Of course, we can't actually. All right, so this is 15 to them. Or I make it 11 to them and just kill Vraska. I guess we get Vraska out of here. Just takes away a draw step. You know, like because they have two wanderers and one Liliana are the only cards. So they have three total cards to draw. Um, there we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, Unmoored Ego with Kefnet. That's pretty nice. Where you get to name their best card and then see what, like, all right, well, what's their only card that can really hurt us? We'll name that too. That's pretty nice seeing their library first before naming something. <laughs> Thanks, Sandbox. All right, we'll keep this with the Charter Course. Here's our lucky black cat. Good dude. Thanks for the sub there, good dude. Let's get some hype in the chat for our new sub. Sub number five on the day already. Wow, y'all are awesome. Boom. Halfway to our sub goal. Hey, what's up, boot? Good morning. Oh, you're welcome, good dude. Yeah, thanks again for subscribing. Oh, whoops. I meant to discard this thing. Those wells. We hard casting over here. Why, why, why do people opt before Thought Erasure? Like, do they think, do they expect me to take the, the opt? Like, they put something on top of their library. Like, I'm probably going to take that thing they put on top of their library. Like, why, like, just have all this other information here. All right, we're getting really punished for not discarding the Agent of Treachery. Now blink of an eye is out of their hand. So if we do get to put a, a Dracu Seth in the graveyard, we don't have to worry about blink of an eye bouncing it. You will be yeah, I got real punished for not discarding this agent of treachery. Imagine us just stealing that Tamiyo right now. It would be so good. Yeah, that sailor probably is their win con. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Rural midrange is awesome. Yeah, the decks, the decks was very good. Seek and find. Uh, no, I'm not quite a mythic yet. Ancestral knowledge. Hey, lion. It's going good. Having a good day. Uh -huh. Yeah, that the grill decks what I've been winning the most with recently.
Yeah, this is all because I didn't discard the Agent of Treachery right library. away. Yeah, they'll take the rest of the turns. Alright, so I messed that up. I don't even know, like, a Veil of Summer is honestly good. Like, is Veil of Summer good here? They have, like, Bounce Spell. Are they going to have Counter Magic in their sideboard? I don't know. Yeah, the Gruel deck's being uploaded right now. It's got like 10, 15 minutes left. Uh, Mono Red Goblins is not a donation deck. Um, I don't... I don't think I necessarily want to play it over in ranked yet. I kind of want to practice it some more first, I think. Not exactly sure, though. Man, this hand's perfect if we draw a blue land. So do we go to five? Or do we... Just rely on drawing a blue land? No, we have to go to five. We can't just rely on drawing a blue land. Alright, so that's gone. And this is gone. Our first hand was just too slow against Nexus. Didn't have interaction. At least it's not Veil of Summer. I should sideboard out a, a Dracu Seth. Yeah, now now that we see that they're def that they're playing this counter magic, I think we're gonna get some Vela Summers in here if we go to a third game. If we go to another game. Um Alright, so we know both of these are spells because they're not playing lands. Still not playing lands. I'm expecting counter spells, to be honest. But they're not countering stuff. So it's like, what are they? What are they doing? I 
Yeah, I don't really want the Tamiyo countered either. Snare, snare. Bunch of Narsets reversals, huh? They, they are playing a bunch of Veil of Summers. So they have a Nyssa and a Spectral Sailor. Yeah, I'll get I'll get rid of Nexus. Don't don't worry. informant for my study the storied past holds our future is a grixis deck with three mana chandra and unmoored ego a reasonable thing Meditate to do and prepare yeah yeah it's a reasonable thing to be doing absolutely Your talents are worth cattle. I think you will find my notes helpful. your research let's see so the the problem with bond revival of course is that that uh blink of an eye that they have over there i have two dresses and two thought erasure still in the deck <laughs> uh, it was obviously just a bunch of Bond revivals. Where's, why is Nexus not right there? I 
Oh yeah, Unmore Deco is is kind of bugged. It changes the graphic setting for some reason. Well, they they sideboarded out a nexus against the blue black deck. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Behold, nature's true power. So it's basically can we beat Can we beat Nissa at this point? I have learned much from my ancestors. There's one more Bond Revival. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Uh, Duress was the other card that thought about name in there. Oh, right, Thought er right, Thought Razor doesn't do anything. Stupid Damio. Yeah, I forgot about that. Honestly, even even till afterwards, I was like, what was that blink of an eye still doing in their hand? I definitely forgot about the Tamio discard with everything else thinking about. Yeah, it looks like I should have should have taken the Unmored Eco and named Blink of an Eye with that. Is never forgotten. Every story is an opportunity for new data. Rise, my elemental friend. I if I did, if I would have named Nissa so instead of Nexus of Fate with that other Unmored Ego, there is a chance, like with the Tamio out and Lord how we knew with the Narsa and everything, there's a chance that they just don't. Uh, they get to just take like the rest of the turns. There's, there's a chance. The biggest the biggest mistake I, I did was naming whatever discard spell I I named instead of Bond Revival at this time and, and I should have just taken I should have been looking for Bond Revival. That was the my one really big mistake. So there's one more Bond Revival in here.
Our opponent doesn't only have Nissa. They they also have the Spectral Sailor, and they have the Callus Dismissal. Harness the elements. And find. This game's not over. There are so many mysteries, and I have just the trick for this. No tail should be discarded. That's going to hurt. I, of course, made the other mistake of... I made a couple of mistakes in this game. You know, like, choosing the Thought Erasure when they had the Tamiyo out was obviously a mistake, which I would have just said Unmoored Ego. Or what, wish I would have taken the Unmoored Ego, for sure. Yeah, I've, I've made some mistakes here. <laughs> this game's not over. If we draw Agent of Treachery, our opponent loses. Like we just take their Nissa. They don't have they don't have Agent of Treachery covered. No, my dragons are still in here. I need to get rid of the blink of an eye, though. Hone your that blink of an eye has been a huge problem. I, uh, ugh, never mind. Now, now they have treachery covered with Veil of Summer. Yeah, I mean, so I, I made two really big mistakes in this game. That's gonna let my opponent win this. Our time together is finished. I think I also probably should have just with the very first on Mordigo, just named Nexus. Yep.
Ugh. I definitely made some bad mistakes there. Oh well, going to the next one. One and one. And the game, the game one, I, I messed up because I didn't discard the agent and treachery. Also, man, that was one of the worst games I've played in a very long time. That whole match, man, I played that really bad. Okay, new match. Magic's a hard game. It sure is. And somebody who plays as much as I do makes mistakes. There's a lot of decisions to make in Magic. Just got to learn and, you know, learn about like those decisions that I made there that were wrong. And next time, try not to do them. It's about all we can do. Hey, Bitter Spike. That's one thing that that can be kind of tough playing. That's one thing about playing uh, so many different decks every single day is that uh, like the of the you know moon. you just kind of go like into to the weird situations quite a bit and make wrong choices. find my notes helpful yeah that was helpful let's see if they just drew a counter spell or not nope really glad we added in the thought ragers in this deck thought ragers been one of our best cards for sure uh, I didn't I didn't play the gruel elemental the gruel midrange sorry against the element against elementals. Um, so yeah, I haven't... I haven't really been playing that matchup too much, so I don't... Uh, yeah, like, the, the other three matches I played before stream, I didn't get paired against elementals either, so... To be honest, I didn't get paired against elementals at all. Um, but I, I think we would be okay just being as aggressive as the deck is, I think we'd be okay. Oh, I can't get another Jackie Seth into play. Let me aid your research. Thanks, fan. No, it didn't have any trouble logging in today. All right, we got all these Vela Summers. I don't know, are we egoing Nexus again?
So if they are playing Immortal Sun, does that like so the, the good thing like the thing that Hostage Shaker does is it does take Immortal Sun and also Hostage Shaker getting getting a frilled mystic can be awesome. Um We'll just take that. Ugh. I think we're gonna, we'll see. We'll see like the the game scenario. But last game scenario, you know, is obvious they didn't have that they, they didn't have wilderness reclamation because they had a couple of turns to play and they didn't play it. And I and I knew about nexuses. I should have just taken the nexuses, uh, and then been able to see like what what their other win cons were to like be able to take. Also. So I, I definitely made the mistake last time that I regret, but we'll do better this time. Yeah, there's there's a lot a lot of more Nexus running around these days. And so I do think that um, on Mordigo, or sorry, uh, that Cindervine's a good cyborg card, and and yeah, it we did play against. We did play against Nexus, for example, last time. All right, so we we saw lots of frilled mystics last game, so I was I was kind of scared of like playing something with frilled mystic, but I guess I should have. There we go. We have the Bond Revivals to bring back Tomb Bound Lich anyway. I probably should have displayed it. All right, well, again, it changed my graphics back to 1440. Let's move that back. Yeah, you can name basics with Unmored Ego. You only get four basics, of course, but yeah, you, you could name basics if you want. You, you can only take four out of the card. Uh, yeah, I've played decks with Lazav, um, Esper Legends, and Grixis Legends from a long time ago for Grixis Legends, kind of both of them a long time ago, you know, like a few months ago, but, uh, we had a pretty sweet Esper Legends deck with Lazav. They would, like, you know, copy Shalai. That was our, that was our first way to get double Shalai. Temple of Silence. Alright, I do not want them to play a Soren. I am going to Thought Erasure here. Double Sanctum Seeker. 
Sanctum Seekers are going to be annoying also. Hmm. Gross. Let's keep this. Next turn, maybe play two Tombbound Liches. Those things can kill these things. No, I didn't. I didn't see that storm. So there's there's going to be changes to the the mastery tree. Okay, so it's there's a weekly cap now, not a daily cap. Ugh. Why'd they have to just draw a removal spell randomly? This is not looking good for us. This is really not looking good for us. Our opponent's kind of drawn exactly what we don't want them to draw basically every single turn of, of this game. Hey, JMS. Alright, Legion's End, Cry the Carnarium, um, Hostage Shaker, Kefnets, get out, Villas out, hmm, Thunder Razor out? So 
So what's what's the change then? You get 250 XP every single win for 15 wins per week. Okay, so basically instead of 7,000, it's 7,250. So just, just a tad more XP a week. But you get, like, if you, whenever the week resets, um, if you're somebody like me that plays uh, a lot, you know, if you're going to get your 15 wins in, like, that first day, you get a whole lot of XP that one day. Get a lot of mastery levels in one day. Of course, you say Cry the Carnarium and then it's Ritual of Soot, or if I would have said Bond Revival. We have not been lucky with our Tamios today at all. Do not harm my scrolls! And find. All right, I guess we got Kefnet on defense. This has not gone well for us. Could have mill over a Drakey Seth. Only the finest, and you smell well aged. My bloodline flows through you. So I can block, and then I can pick up Ritual of Soot and kill these other two. Mm. All stories must end. And get Legion's End. Tonight, 
I have learned much from my ancestors. So yeah, I could have just played the Ascanta and you know grabbed the Ritual of Soot for the next turn. But I getting that thing out of there, and I want to because uh, I want to kill this Soren here, certainly. is over. All right, well, really punished. These childish games bore me. If I would have played as Kanta last turn, we would have milled over the Dracuseth and Ritual said like, yeah. Definitely went with the wrong decision. <laughs> Uh, I did all that work to try to get rid of Sora and I'm putting myself in all this peril. I just can't make correct decisions at all. I mean, all I have to do is just do the the Soren tick up. I'm dead. I don't I don't have an out here. The Soren tick up that deals three damage. I can't stop that. All right, well, definitely really need to get Ritual of Set. Not my best league there. There was, you know, maybe five or so judgment calls, you know, like lines that I took that just ended up being the wrong line in hindsight throughout that league. We went 2-2, two -two, but both of those matches that we lost felt pretty winnable. Um, so that's unfortunate the the good thing though is the deck honestly felt it it honestly did feel pretty strong for what we have going on here um i really liked a lot of what we had going on tombbound lich was quite a strong card I liked it a lot. This is my first time playing this card. But yeah, it was very good. Um, and yeah, Bond Revival, Dracuseth was pretty reliable. Uh, Thought Erasure, Chart of Course, both of those cards were awesome. Love both those cards. Maybe, as far as sideboard, just maybe no Legion's End. Definitely liked Veil of Summer. Maybe, maybe no Legion's End, and maybe just extra Cry of the Canarium instead. Like the the third Cry of the Canarium was like the last card that I cut for Hostage Taker. In this sideboard, and then we saw like that that last game with Kefnet that if we had Cry of the Canarium instead of Hostage Taker, we could have actually stabilized there. So maybe maybe it's just no Hostage Taker actually. Because we do want spells with like Azkanta and Kefnet and everything. Maybe just no Hostage Taker and get the Cry of the Canarium in there. I, I am, I do like Legion's End against the Wild Growth Walkers deck and stuff, but yeah, I think we want the third Cry in the deck. That was certainly a winnable game. 
every every decision I went with Tamio ended up, you know, like ticking up and like whatever I named ended up being like the wrong thing to name over and over and all that kind of stuff. Uh, no, we don't want concoct. No. No, I don't think that that's necessary. I'm not sure about Vilas. You know, like we never never got Vilas. I never really wanted Vilas. When you're like Vilas is, I guess, like you know, it's like our card against control to like refill our hand. But whenever you're behind, it's not going to be so good. Honestly, Kefnet was just pretty awesome. I think I'd rather just kind of have a Kefnet in the main deck and just you know not not play this Vilas. Just play a Kefnet in the main. Playing the Kefnet in the main does give you room. Whoops. Yeah, that would give us room for a trophy in the sideboard also. Where we could destroy, you know, a Nyssa or something. You know, like, we could just bring this in. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I do like Discovery Dispersal. I think Chart of Course is better for this deck, though, to get rid of, like, Dracu sets that you draw. And I don't know if you can really, if you really want more than four of that kind of card. So I, th I think Chart of Course kind of has the Discovery covered. If you do, you would, you would get rid of Tombbound Lich for Discovery, which I, I could see, even though I did like Tombbound Lich, I could see maybe that playing Discovery is a better option uh, than, you know, playing a little bit more like Sweeper stuff. But maybe not. Yeah, Dracu says our Planeswalker removal, but yeah, now we got a trophy. So now we, have, now we have Planeswalker removal in there with trophy. You just don't really see that many Planeswalkers right now, like this minute, which is <clears throat> kind of different. All right, so that's Sultai Reanimator. Pretty nice little deck here. And uh, with some different decisions from me, could have definitely done better than, uh, than, what, uh, than what we did there. Uh, the deck felt stronger than um, what our record ended up being. This was a good deck. All right, uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it as well. And uh, please hit that like and subscribe buttons. But that's it here for Soul Tire Reanimator. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.